itching around your anal area is because of a parasite called pinworm. Pinworm has another name called threadworm. Let's learn why this is one of the most disturbing and embarrassing parasite. Because the itchiness occurs anywhere, anyhow, and the itchiness is very intense to a point you cannot hold it. This parasite, first of all, it's nocturnal. It only operates during the night. And this is the female parasite. You see, this parasite is called pinworm threadworm, or the medical term is called Enterobius vermicularis. Right? How do you acquire it? Okay. First of all, you acquire it by ingesting the contaminated fecal material with the eggs of this pinworm, right? Now, when you are scratching your anal area, the fecal material with the eggs are left on the nails, okay? And if you do not thoroughly clean your hands, you are going to transfer the eggs of the pinworm to other food and places around the house. And if someone else comes into contact with this contaminated pico material, they automatically get the pinworm eggs. And when they are going to hatch, then the cycle and the spreading continues. So first of all, you can also get pinworm by inhaling the eggs. Yes, you can inhale the eggs of pinworm. And when you inhale them, they are taken to your insert sign and they hatch to male and female threadworks, right? So that is how you get. That is, first of all, you get it by contaminated hands and fingers. The other one is inhaling. The other way you can get this contaminated fecal material that has the eggs of the pinworm is from beddings. Let, let, let's now run the whole thing, okay? So, the female pinworm, the female threadworm, we said this parasite is nocturnal. At night, it is able to get out of your colon and it's able to lay ends on your anal area, right? These eggs have a very sticky fluid. This sticky fluid is causes irritation on the skin. That is why you end up itching. You see, every parasite has a way of, of, of surviving and spreading, okay? So its way of spreading is causing irritation so that you scratch. If you scratch, you ingest those eggs, you spread those eggs all over. And by through that, its survival mode and generations are maintained. So the itchiness is because of the sticky fluid that surrounds and harbors the eggs. Okay, that's where you get itchy. That's where you have itchiness. All right? So it, it, at night, the female threadworm comes and lays eggs. Those eggs, you ingest those eggs. You see the beddings. So if you sleep naked, if you sleep naked, those eggs are going to be left where? On the beddings, okay? So someone else it can inhale the eggs or by the, catching the beddings, they can contaminate their hands and they can ingest the eggs, right? Sharing of towels. So if someone uses, does not bathe properly, especially men, they do not like cleaning that area around the anal area and then they use a towel to wipe themselves, through that, now someone else comes into contact with that towel, even Mama Fua will get a pinworm eggs. And through that, they're going to spread. So, beddings, towels, sharing of, of, of underwears. And also, let me also say, people who practice anal sex and practice oral sex at the same time, you are spreading the pinworm eggs especially if someone was having anal sex and then from there you you touch their penis you are going to grab those eggs and you're going to get infected with this parasite also women who share sex toys are going to get pinworm 
if you are going to use your sex toy for your anal area and then someone you're not going to clean it thoroughly, then you're going to get eggs of that inworm. Then that other person, if they are going to use that sex toy as well, they are going to get pinworm egg and you get infected the thread worm. Yes. Touching, touching all things around, touching things that are contaminated with fecal material that contain the eggs of pinworm, you are going to get the pinworm yourself, right? You say this is a nocturnal, nocturnal. You say this is a nocturnal organism. The female parasite is able to raise the eggs and the stickiness is what is causing itchiness around your anal area. So how do you prevent, what is the prevention of you getting this pinworm? First of all, is if you feel that you are itching around your anal area, you should go to the hospital, get tested, then get medication. I think the best medication would be mebedazole. Those dewormers, you get the dewormers first of all. The other one is to make sure that you dry. Dry your towels, dry your beddings, okay? Avoid sharing, washing your hands with soap. Literally washing your hands with soap. If you are eating things raw, you make sure you wash them as well, right? If you're using sex toys, make sure that those, if you're sharing sex toys, make sure that they have been cleaned thoroughly. People who practice anal sex, just be clean. Just be clean to avoid pinworm. It is very irritating. You can scratch and cause harm into that anal area and then that could be could be a cause to other infections. All right, take my bedazo, go to the hospital, get treated. That is pinworm. It is called threadworm. It also is also called enterobius vermiculalis. Make sure you trim your nails. Make sure you clean your hands. Just avoid it. It is very irritating. And a question you have on pinworm, if you're having an itchy anal area, Comment down below. I will come and answer those questions. Thank you. This is Health Matters Plus. Happy holidays and I wish you a happy...